Hi gardening friends, it's been a while since I seen you. Um, I know I was, I said that I was gonna film last garden season, but I ended up getting Lyme disease right in the beginning of the garden season. And that took out my whole season out. Even though I still garden last year, it just wasn't the same. But I plan on filming this year. So today is a gorgeous day here in Illinois. It's about 60 uh, degrees and it's the first day of spring, yay. And I wanted to come out here just to nosy around, see if um, anything popped up. I have garlic in and my asparagus is over here. I'm not sure if, if anything is gonna be popping up yet. Last week was some beautiful weather also. And over the weekend, it was a lot of rain. And uh, today, the sun decided to pop out again. So I just wanted to see if anything is trying to come up yet and I'm just going to show you around and explain a few things that happened last season. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's get into it. Okay, so here the front here stayed the same. These two beds are new. I don't think I showed you. Um, I had flowers in both of these beds, which I'll be doing the same. My husband bought me this really cute windmill. <laughs> and over here pretty much stayed the same. And uh, everything is just a mess. A mess, mess, mess. We haven't cleaned anything up yet. All right, so let's go over here to this bed. We had tomatoes um, in this bed last year, a whole bunch of them. I know you're not supposed to use the same beds over and over for the same crops, but this worked out so well for tomatoes, I'm gonna do the same. But this is my asparagus bed, and I just wanted to see if anything Oops, sorry for the, <laughs> if anything has popped up yet. I do need to uncover the crowns a little bit though. I'll do that off camera, but nope, doesn't seem to be anything popping up just yet, but hopefully soon. Okay. So this looks like a complete mess. So this was an archway that we had made um, out of the scrap uh, wood and, and we had some chicken wire laying around that we weren't using. And we had a really bad windstorm last season and it just collapsed. Um, there was tons of vine, as you can still see. This was my loofahs, which I didn't really get any last year because it was just such an odd growing season. So, and again, everything needs to be cleaned. <laughs> um, this is my strawberry bud. Looks kind of sad right now. Okay, so this cattle panel survived. I had um, morning glories growing up this. It was so gorgeous. I'm going to do the same. And those are the same. Okay, this cattle panel collapsed, which I was so amazed in that uh, windstorm. We had to put a lighter up because our birdhouse gourds were still growing on it. And yeah, we're gonna have to take that down and do something else with it and put a new one up. It was just too much weight for it. And here's this bed, nothing really going on besides the garlic. And these squirrels, I'm gonna kill them. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
I might not get any uh garlic this year. The squirrels will just not leave this alone. I'm going to have to do something next year. But I don't really see anything popping up. I don't even know if there's anything. Oh, look at that. It was popping up. Let me put it back in here. Hopefully it will come back up. Oh. I have um, elephant gar garlic in here as well. Hopefully these squirrels didn't eat them all on me. Because I don't, besides that one that I just found, I don't see any, anything else popping up. You know, I might put something down just to save whatever is in there. Because the squirrels are not giving up. Okay. So, I have these two beds. I'm not sure if I showed these or not. <laughs> but, uh, have those. And then this is new. Um, we decided to dig up this area and... Uh, grow more pump different pumpkins on this side because what was happening was our pumpkins were all um, Mixing together and they were all pollinating together there is the pumpkin um, Area but We are going to be doing something different this year We're going to be growing all sunflowers we're not going to be growing pumpkins in this area this year. Uh, my husband decided he's, he wants to do something different. So, let's go back over here. I haven't even opened the greenhouse yet. So, this is going to be changed. Uh, this is just falling apart. Those, um, gosh, I think it was like three seasons ago or four seasons ago. I uh, got some pallets and turned it into like a little deck and it's just totally garbage now so we're gonna be putting um, a patio down with bricks all right let's go ahead and take a peek in here nothing much happening oh there's some things that are still growing Ooh, and it's so hot in here. My goodness. I'll leave that open. But no. Just pretty much shoved everything in here. And there you go. Alright. And here is the pond. And I can't believe how clear it looks. My goodness. Look how clear that looks. Even though it looks so gunky. So we're going to have to um, clean this out. We have a lot of leaves, which is not good. But it's so clear. I kind of don't want to disturb it. We had the pump going all winter long. Just in case any frogs were hibernating in the pond. Because the season before we had frogs that were hibernating in there. And we didn't know. And it froze over and they drowned. So we didn't want that to happen. So we grabbed that um, Pexi glass. We put it over the pond and had the pump going. And there was always a hole available. So if the frogs were in there, they can go up to breathe. Or, and then we also had the pumps going and that's how they I guess breathe through their skin it's really it's really crazy <laughs> I don't know too much about it but I need to get my plant back up there's my iris decided to store it in here and it looks like there's some new growth looks like there's some new growth I don't know if you can I don't know if you can tell 
Yeah, right there. See the green? The green right there. So it is starting to grow. So yeah, well, I'm gonna have to bring that back up and put it on the shelf here. Yeah, we need to clean all that out. Very nasty. All right, well, nothing going on in the flower garden, the wildlife area. Still, everything's pretty dead. Nothing coming up. So, there's that. So, yeah, I'm sure things will start popping up in a few weeks with um, really nice weather. And here is the corn area. That stayed the same. Um, is there anything that's going to be different this year? The only thing that's going to be really different is the patio that needs to be changed out and then we're going to take that down and probably put a, a cattle panel there and then take that cattle panel down put another one and then we're going to use that cattle panel won't go to waste we're going to use it to um grow something up it so there you go here is a quick spring tour yeah i can't wait i am so excited and hopefully if things go very well <laughs> i'll be able to film it so. all right friends well thank you for joining me as i look around in my garden and i will see you in the next the next video will be a seed haul and and a Dollar Tree haul for gardening supplies. All right, well, I hope you take care, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.